What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's gonna to be a little bit of a different video. It's not gonna be related to firearms or flying, it's just another one of my random videos. We're gonna be going over a few flashlights that I think is really cool and I really wanted to share them with you. So before I go over all of these flashlights, all of the links will be in the description below if you'd like to check them out more. I got all of them off of Amazon. So all of these flashlights basically have their own specific uses, I think, but they also have their own purpose. And what I was thinking about when I was buying flashlights, of course, they're not gonna be the best, most expensive high-end flashlights, super long and big ones. These are going to be more compact ones that you can carry, EDC more or less, everyday carry in your pocket, in the truck, or on the go if you wanted to grab a flashlight real quick, or put them in your go bag or something like that. So that's the mindset behind these flashlights that I'm choosing. So the first one here is a, let's go with this one. This is a really nice flashlight. It's small and compact. As you can see, I think it's quite bright. It's high and low, high, low and strobe. And you have this zoomable feature, which you can also focus that at different distances. And it comes in handy like that. So also what I really like, what's really caught my eye and the reason I bought this primarily was that here you have a really nice USB stick on it. So you can charge this easily in a power bank, for example, you just put it in like that. And you'll see that the red light comes on when it's charging and it'll turn green when it's fully charged. So that's the primary reason I bought this is because that you don't have to carry around any extra USB cables to charge this. You just need to have a USB receptacle, power banks, your car, pretty much everyone has these these days, your computer, your laptop, or simply a wall outlet. Or, and you can even put this into a wall outlet and just let it sit on there and you can have a nice little nightlight real quick or something. Or you can just plug this into a wall outlet, for example, and just let it sit there if you need some kind of random light like that. And then this screws right back onto it. It has a uh, rubber grommet or gasket there too, primarily to keep more or less the water out. And so, yeah, there you go, USB behind that. So I really like this. This also comes in another variant, a UV ultraviolet light as well that does the same thing as the zoom here. And also the light here turns green when it's on and off. Also has a cool USB-A as well there to charge into a, that you could charge it with a power bank or a wall outlet, like I mentioned before with this one. This one is really cool because I use this for work a lot, but you know, UV lights always come in handy if you need to search something with ultraviolet light. And get the 365 nanometer one as well. This one, came in this box here. This is called the Vagocom LED uh, something something flashlight or whatever. But what I really thought was cool about these is how low profile they are. Check these out. Now they don't have any internal battery or anything like that. So you push the red button, they don't come on. They only come on once you plug them into a USB block or obviously a power bank that has a USB power output on it. Like this one here, you just plug it in like that. And then you push the light, the red button here to turn the light on. And now this, this whole thing, this power bank could become your new flashlight, for example. And what's neat about it, it also comes with features like the focus or the zoom, zoom in and out of your light. So the same feature as the previous one that I was showing you guys. And what I really like about it is that it's just really compact. These can really fit in your go bag, emergency bag, or something like that where you need quick emergency lighting. You can even have power banks like this one where you know you have two USB outs here like that and you can turn them both on like that and you'll have double the lighting and tons of uses for these kinds of flashlights here. They also come with a power cord like this so that you can plug one end of the flashlight into the, uh, the cable like this and the other one into a power bank or a wall outlet and you know set this in or if you need it to hang somewhere or put it position it in a certain area or get in a tight space something like that or if you need some kind of flexibility in your lighting system then this is going to do the trick i think so it's a very unique design i've never seen one of these before until i just stumbled upon it on amazon and so i don't know if a lot of people know about it but i think it's really cool really good idea for your go bag emergency bag if you are into preparedness and survivalist stuff like that camping as well for example so you get two cables and you get a instruction booklet with that as well. Four lighting modes, you get high, low, flashing SOS. Did I show you guys that? Let's take a look real quick, plug it in. All right, so there's your high, low, 
strobe. And then to get the SOS, you have to long press for five seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, okay, three seconds maybe. But yep, there you got SOS. So like I said, great for a go bag. You got the SOS if you want, if you needed an emergency or camping or something like that. So these are really neat and fancy. They come in also two packs. It took a long time for it to come back in stock when I had it in my cart, it went out of stock. And so it took forever to come back in stock, but you could buy the singles if you wanted, but I just chose to wait. I wasn't in a dire need of them, but I waited until the, Duels came back in stock. Now for the really, really, really fun, cool one, my favorite one of them all is this neat little flashlight. This one is it called an EDC flashlight. It's the model V10. I'll put a link in the description because there's a lot of knockoffs or other variants of this. And I think this one is the best one. So it comes in a nice little box like this. I'll show you guys real quick what's the specs say it's 1000 lumens, believe it or not. You probably won't believe me, but I'll show you how bright this is in a little bit. It's way brighter than these bigger ones here or these smaller one, yeah, this bigger one here or that smaller one. And the material is PC plus aluminum, polycarbonate plus some aluminum. It's got a 1000 milliamp hour battery capacity. You can charge this up with a USB-C port here. And um, okay, I had a little rubber grommet cover here and it looks like that just ripped off today when I was charging it earlier. I'll have to go find it. But yeah, that keeps the dirt and moisture out, but I just broke it. I don't know if it's a bad review of this. Maybe I didn't treat it right. I just was being in a rush and I just accidentally pulled it while I was pulling the cable out. But be careful of that. You don't want to break that off if you care a lot about it. And then it's waterproof. Well, it was waterproof, I guess. If you <laughs> probably, it was the waterproof rating is IPX4. I don't know if now that I got that ripped off, if it's still that rating or not. Product weight, 46 grams. And um, there's a lot, a lot of features on this cool little light. This is my, and that's why it's my favorite. So let's go over it. First of all, you have two little buttons here. You have one with a lightning bolt and one with a power icon, more or less. And then you've got two lights here and then one in the middle. And the middle one here is a UV light. And the way you turn that on is you press this lightning bolt button three times in a row. One, two, three. You see it come on and uh, you can see, I mean, it, well, we should turn off some light maybe so you can kind of see how this looks. Okay, here maybe you can see the reflection here like that. So this is neat because you might need a UV flashlight to do any kind of inspections or whatever. And speaking of UV light, and the, by the way, to turn that off, press the button down for a couple seconds and it'll go off. Speaking of UV light, we'll go back to this UV flashlight that I have. This casing, this outer casing comes in different colors, but I chose this clear one. This is actually glow in the dark. So you can, and when you wanna fluoresce something really fast that glows in the dark, use a UV flashlight and it'll speed up the charge of whatever needs to glow in the dark really fast versus normal light. And we can turn off the lights and you can kind of see that this glows in the dark. So I'm charging it up with a UV flashlight. You can see the body of this glows in the dark. Maybe not, it doesn't pick up so well on the camera, but in real life, yeah, it glows in the dark pretty good. So the cool thing about that glowing in the dark is if you ever lose it or something in the dark, you could easily find it. So we covered the UV light, the glow in the dark. Now let's go over some other features here. And it comes with a manual on how to use all of the buttons, how to use all of the features here. So let's try to go over all of it. And so let's see. So to turn on these lights here, you need to press the power button two times really fast. You can see they come on. You can already see that's pretty bright, but that's not the brightest it can go. This is your high setting. So we'll start at the low setting because, or economic, there's four different settings basically. We have economic, then you have low, then you have medium, and then you have the high, right? Now to turn that off, just hold down a couple seconds and it'll go off. Now there's also that fourth mode called turbo. Now this is where you get the 1000 lumens. Check it out, all you have to do, to turn it on is just press and hold that down. It doesn't stay on very long because it gets hot and it turns itself off after so many seconds. So you only get a little bit of seconds with that. Makes sense because otherwise it's gonna get super hot and drain the battery. So here I'm pressing it down and look how bright that is. That is a full 1000 lumens. It's hard to see things like this on the camera, but if you had this, it will light up a whole room, whole basement, whole stairwell, everything. Outdoors, even in your whole backyard, this thing is extremely bright and I think you'll be very happy with that. Other ones on here, oh, by the way, the economic is, I'll take a picture of this. You can guys can see all the settings and everything. Economic is 12 lumens and you can go on from there. 450 lumens was the high. So you can double that or more basically with the turbo 1000 lumens. Now this thing also has some cool little LEDs here in the side. And the way to activate that, if you wanna see those is to double click this lightning bolt 
and you see that you get a red light. Now just to cycle through the colors, just press once. You can get blue. You can get the flashing red, maybe to get somebody's attention. Flashing blue and red. Don't really know if that's going to be, you know, illegal if you're trying to pretend to be a cop or not, but uh, you get those options as well. Press it again, you get a solid white one. Again, you get a yellow one, and then again, you get a green one, and then you're back to square one. Press and hold for a couple seconds to turn it off. There you go. And we also already went over the UV light, and there's one final cool thing about this thing. It is a cool little alarm, so check it out. All you have to do is long press this lightning bolt to turn it on, and then release to turn it off. So here we go. And when you do that, it flashes red and blue as well. So Cool if you're like, you know, a college student or something, or you're walking down a dark alley and you just have, happen to have this light looking down to wherever you're going and then you get freaked out or you need to, you know, make some noise. In an emergency, you can go ahead and press that down to draw attention to you if you ever need that. So this is my very favorite, my most favorite EDC flashlight. Comes with a key ring, also a magnet here, which I don't know if I have anything magnetic to really try it on because but it does work very very nicely i think it's strong enough for me oh right here the edge of this all right can you see that uh right there on the whiskey barrel thing holds on there pretty good i mean you can kind of see how how it's I, how much effort i got to pull it off with but yeah what's great is that it also is USB-C charging so there you have it guys all of these neat little flashlights that I highly recommend. They all work pretty well. They all have their own use. I really like to carry this one, especially wherever I go, in my pocket on the keychain or whatever. These kind of stay in, uh, in my bag. This will go into my go bag along with these cables. And obviously power banks like that are very handy to have wherever. You can always, never have too many of those. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more about this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments section. And if you have any questions, again, put them in the comments section. And again, check out the links below and see what you guys think. Go ahead and pick yourself up one or two or all of these. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and I almost forgot. You might be wondering why I'm wearing this goofy looking hat. Well, it's actually not that goofy. This is a cool little sock hat with a light inside. High, medium, and low. And so... What's neat about this, if you, you can get all kinds of cap hats, right? But there's nothing cooler like this than for the winter time or something. When you need something warm and you're working on something or if you're outside or you need some kind of light, this is pretty neat. And what's really cool is this is washable. This light just peels out of this little frame here. It's all rubber and it reveals a USB charging stick once you take off this plastic plug. And again, go ahead and stick it in a... USB charging bank like this for your wall outlet, wherever you have a USB outlet and your computer, for example, and it'll charge it up. Obviously you have to turn it on and there you go. This thing will be charging. I think it's bright enough. It gets pretty bright, I think, for just, you know, quick emergency uses. But I'll probably put this in the comments section as, or the description as well if you guys want to check a cool hat out like this. It's made by Etz foam that's ets f m o a never heard of it got it for christmas but it's a really slick hat light and it's one of my favorite ones to wear around anyway you never know when you're going to need a light i really like rechargeable things not having to deal with any batteries which as you can see here nothing has any batteries other than if you want to use power banks to charge them up or to use them so thanks again guys we'll see you later